Hello, Graphonautics! Working and digging through log data may be a huge hassle. Luckily, the Logs panel visualization helps you visualize and identify elements on troublesome logs, and today we're gonna do a tour around them. Logs are textual and chronological records from software or devices capturing events, actions, errors, and other relevant information. They provide valuable insights for troubleshooting, monitoring, and compliance. Stored usually in data sources such as Elastic, Influx, and Loki, you can also pull them from platforms such as Azure and CloudWatch. Now, when building a website monitoring dashboard, you can use log entries for user purchases and a list of errors. You can make a log query that shows you the good or bad stuff and have its next critical information about your website. So, Let's create our first logs panel. Before we create a log panel, we will need a log data source. As mentioned, we can get logs from Elastic, Influx, and Loki. But today, we will use two log data sources, Grafana Cloud Play Logs and the Test Data Data Source, both available in Grafana Play. Check the link in the corner to access Grafana Play. Grafana OSS only has the Test Data Data Source, and for other log type data sources, you must configure them by yourself. For more information on the Test Data Data Source, link in the corner. Now, once in Grafana Play, you may realize that the homepage is a dashboard. In Grafana OSS, access a dashboard and follow the steps shown here. Once inside a dashboard, click in the Add button at the top and select Visualization to create a panel. Once in the Panel Editor, the time series will be selected by default. Click on the top right corner and scroll to Logs. After selecting the Log Panel, you will see this error message. We must select the Test Data Data Source and select Logs. Right away, colorful log data. But those colors are not random. This is the log level as the log panel identifies level labels and selects the color based on their values, like errors, critical, warnings, and others. For more information, link in the corner. So, so far, we have used the test data data source. And let's select the data source Grafana Cloud Play Logs, which is a Loki data source with several settings related to LogQL. We want to dive into it as it is a vast topic. For more information, link in the corner. Let's select the label cluster and equal it to Play DB Cluster. Let's click Run Query and voila! More logs with colors! Log panels have few customizations. The general panel options are present in all panels, so let's change just the title. For the log customizations, the first thing is time. It displays the time of the log as a separate field. Next, the unique labels show non-common labels per log, and under it, we can display the common labels along the logs. Next, line wrapping helps avoid scrolling left and right. And if you're working with JSON logs, this makes them more readable. As well, you can turn on or off the log details that we mentioned earlier. Lastly, we can configure how successive duplicates lines behave and as well the time-based sorting order. Click on Apply to see your log panel in your dashboard, where you can add many other panels that we have out there. If you want to learn more, check the videos on screen. But now, you can consider yourself a logs panel master. Happy dashboarding and... Have a good one.